Yeah, Sister, I love you. So Come here. By the way, just got in town Then I won't let you me this cloud all in the sky Ruin my body Bad du soleil Bad du soleil Bad du soleil What's up guys? It's Diera. I'm back with another video and today we're vlogging. I am starting this vlog out on a Tuesday because yesterday I started filming and the quality of the videos was so bad. I don't know what's been going on with my settings but honey we're not doing low budget over here. I am just putting a little bit of um, icy hot basically on my arm. I bought this and we're gonna just see if it'll work for me. Just figure out how to stabilize my wrist. I got a cortisol shot last week. What is that called? Was it cortisol? It was a steroid for my wrist. Am I really doing this? I hope it helps. I think it will at least help me open these packages. I am so bored that I've gotten to the point where all I do is shop. I need to be stopped. Send help. I've ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon, so I'm just gonna open it with you guys. Okay, y'all know I've been in the gym, so I bought basically like a little waistband chain, and it has a D on it. A hanging moon. I got some new white slip-on sandals, nice and simple. I love brown. Brown is like the new black. We've got magnets for the fridge, so I can hang it, hang the photos, and clamp it on. This is a laser leveler. I want to get some artwork for back here. Book. I saw this book on TikTok, I believe. It's like a little tennis necklace. Oh no, that's so cute. These are just some big silver hoops. I'm not even going to take them out the package. They kind of remind me of the gold ones I already have on. But yeah, lordy. All this stuff. And nowhere to even put it. up y'all i want to get started on my bedroom today i have these rods from ikea they're the ceiling ones and i have these linen curtains that i want to hang behind my bed since it's a little short at the top i don't know if y'all can see it, but the height is adjusted down just a bit um and so i want to do curtains all across this back wall i hope it looks good so these are the curtains that i originally had hung in my living room at my old apartment they're gonna get repurposed here because yolo there's nowhere to hang them in there they're too short for the high ceilings in the living room so this is literally the perfect spot let's just get started shall we i don't feel like drilling holes in these walls so i'm going to try these command strips they said that they can hold up to like i think it said like 50 pounds or something hopefully they're not lying so literally it is just a command strip I'm peeling off both sides and I'm going to stick this to the wall and this side to the pole. Let's see if it works. I think I'm going to use three of them. Pretty. 
yeah now i'm deciding if i want to hang this little moon in the middle i feel like that would be so cute y'all gotta let me know i feel like i'm gonna do it and then we can decide together <laughs> oh. so cute so 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 stinking cute I don't have my duvet cover on. I will put this on a little later, but I do want to see if this will look good. So this is what they look like from my old apartment, but it's so dreamy and pretty. I think it would look good right here. And just as something you see peeking in from the living room. I'll have duvet on for now while I think about this and then we'll come back to it. Have this little mirror. Yes, 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 yes. All right, y'all. I have set up my leveler and we're just gonna hang these and see how they look. I'm gonna stand on my dresser. Do not recommend doing this. what we got okay i cleaned off my bed i have this little nice side table i need to plug up my clock but it's just a little light and a candle and then i bought this from target the other day i'm kind of thinking of putting it up there somewhere um but yeah we did so much progress today and this is my little mirror i have to figure out if I want to use this. This is a curtain rod for another set of curtains that I have. And then I just have this little thrifted shoe rack. I have such a tiny closet. I don't think I've ever showed y'all. Um, but yes, so this is also my little perfume collection. Isn't she so cute? Look at all my minis. But yeah, I got some stuff in here that I need to organize eventually. And then we're going to live with this for a bit. If we hate it, we'll take it down. But if not... You know, we'll keep her. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comments. This I'm obsessed with though. Y'all can't tell me nothing. That is gorgeous. We love it. I think this looks so stinking cute as a backdrop. Maybe I could sit here and do like some little chit chat videos. Oh, I'm so happy. It feels so good to be making this place home. Um, and repurposing decor I already had. I love that for me. However, I'm going to give you guys a rest for the day. Because that's all I got in me. We're going to relax. And I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts about my room in the comments. Okay? Leave some love down below. been a slow week today i am really feeling the sadness that i am not back to work i'm ready i get so many questions all the time on flight attendant life if i'm still a flight attendant yes y'all yes, yes yes i'm just on leave right now i will let y'all know if i ever stop being a flight attendant if i don't make an announcement that means we still going strong i think i'm eight years in and so Today, though, 
I just really miss work. I was watching uh, one of Alexis Black's videos. If y'all know Alexis, definitely go uh, check out her page and send her a little love from us over here on Wildly Dear. Because I hadn't seen her content in so long and I randomly stumbled upon a flight attendant video and I was just like, I want to go back to flying. And it's not that like... I'm in a rush because it's so hard on my body as we can see with my arm but um, I just miss I think I just miss the lifestyle I miss getting up and going I miss like making friends and not that everybody's your friend on your job but like flight attendant life is just it's a different type of bond like you just if you know you know anyway I am going to be editing today. We got some Amazon packages coming. Um, I want to take my hair down. Okay, we've been doing this half up, half down for a solid two weeks now. And um, yeah, it's just about that time. And so, I don't know y'all. Even though it's so convenient, I just, I want to scratch my scalp. You know, I want to get in there. I get in there real good and wash her up. But that's all that's on the agenda today is editing and getting some packages like life is becoming kind of redundant and that's just not the type of girl I am you know I don't I, I need routine but also need a little spontaneity I haven't even taken a vacation y'all my arm and my life was falling apart I haven't been on a vacation in years like I need to be on some island some tropical oasis somewhere I need a massage. Maybe I could sign up to get like a little spa day here. Anyway, I will ramble all morning. I just wanted to check in, let y'all know I didn't ghost y'all. But also with everything happening in Palestine and with Palestine, Israel, and Gaza, I just have not felt like myself. I also don't feel like posting is even important or relevant. But because I committed to coming back strong, like that's why I'm showing up for y'all. But deep down, it's like, ugh. It's almost cringe to be posting myself having fun while everything is going on. So it's a delicate balance of, you know, reading the room, but also like being disciplined and staying true to my commitments. So, oh, such is life. Do I cry now or later? Because what? What? It said 20 minutes. And look at these. I'm so sad. Look at these. <laughs> Y'all, burnt to a crisp. How, Sway? Like, how? I am appalled. <laughs> I'm in literal shock. I've been sitting right here editing they're black like what is life so much for my little sweet treat i'm gonna cry i'll be back later oh, i'm so ashamed <laughs> oh mom i need to call my mom we need to go to trade jails immediately because what 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 is that I don't know who keeps taking my card and buying things on Amazon, but they must be stopped. Because why do I have a, a whole three packages delivered today? And I know they have multiple things inside. They must be stopped, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Jesus, let me just sit down because this is a serious matter. Oh, it's my mom, hold up. Hello? Y'all, nobody knows me better than my mother. The fact that what she called me about was so funny because I'm like, how did you know? How did you know, girl? Anyway, we're opening packages. We got our hair done and it's a quick weave. So I need to remove, I need to remove all the glue. Also, when I take my hair down, focus where I, yeah, I need some intense hydration. I don't know if I told y'all this, but I did not bring my car back to Arizona. And so I've been ordering a lot of stuff online because of that too. Like it's very inconvenient to get up and go to the grocery store or to regular stores all the time after Uber. And so 
I ordered some shampoo and conditioner. I'm going back to Trusty Old Tresemme. I want to wash my extensions too. And I've heard just these are good for basic stuff like that. So yeah, y'all. Nothing exciting in this little unboxing. But I'm going to get back to budgeting. Because what I was doing in October, I cannot bring that into November. Do you hear me? We're doing better. We're being more fiscally responsible. I think I'm just uh, at my wit's end and shopping is retail therapy and it's just so unhealthy i keep saying this like i don't need anything else i want for nothing i do want to finish decorating my living room though so i do need art and a rug but other than that i don't need much so i'm gonna stop buying little trinkets and things because somebody hold me accountable please help send help good morning happy Friday, I'm getting ready because we're gonna go to a coffee shop. I just need to get out of the house. I have been isolating myself and I was talking to my friend. We agreed that I need to get out of the house at least 20 minutes a day. So that's the plan. I also have a terrible tummy ache. So as much as I want to stay in bed, I'm not going to do it. We're going to be a big girl and get out of the house because I already stayed in the house two days in a row. Y'all, my hair is on its last leg. I want to take her down so bad. I want my mom to come take it down, actually. I'm being a little baby about it. But um, my mom has a busy weekend. And there's a lot going on in her personal life, so I cannot count on her to come at the drop of a dime so I might have to figure this out on my own which seems daunting we're gonna do some brows I arched my eyebrows a little bit yes well not arch but trim them down a little bit because they were unruly babes it just looks so much thicker I feel like eyebrows change your whole face Not too much, not too much. Also, we're gonna do a little bit of blush. I was wanting to go and take advantage of the Sephora sale. I really don't need to spend any more money, but I wanna try these peels. You all know I got textured skin, and everybody always raves about the Dr. Dennis Gross peels. <laughs> this is the Rare Beauty blush. I'm gonna have to wipe some of this off. I don't know what I was thinking. Y'all distracted me. While I'm talking, I put two dabs, I think. I like blush so much. I just need to tone it down. Okay. Hopefully we toned her down enough, child. Because I'm not putting on any concealer. And then I'm going to use this telescopic mascara to just give us a little woken up look, you know? We're alive. these earrings from Target they're super duper cute but definitely cheap <laughs> and definitely not real gold but they're adorable my goodness y'all want to crawl in bed we're not gonna do it but this will do it let's get out of here with all this noise Y'all know how my bedroom gets with these lights. Um, I need a necklace. Y'all, I really gotta start trying the silver jewelry that I bought. I literally never wear silver. Got a necklace. And then today we're wearing Jo Malone with sage and sea salt. So pretty. I didn't even check the weather outside. Let's see. Hopefully, it's actually cool enough for what I'm wearing. I mean, hopefully it's warm enough. Oh yeah, 80 degrees. Child, why did I even ask? It's Phoenix. All right, y'all, I'm gonna grab my bag and we're out of here. It's more that too, but I don't want it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs>
We made it to Joe Vibes. It's my first time here. We made it outside for 20 minutes. I'm giving everything I got to not being a couch potato. So here we are. This is a lavender lemonade. I decided to get a sweet crepe <laughs> and uh, it has brown sugar and lemon. The little barista lady recommended it. It's a little thick. Nice. Interesting. I, uh, I have a weird thing, but like, I fucking like don't cry from the surface. I don't know if I could eat the whole thing, but it's like a sweet, tangy mixture. I'm kind of vibing with it. It's a little thick for a crepe though. Anyway, I brought my book on my iPad. So we're gonna get some much needed fresh air. Just enjoy the day. I picked the probably little noisiest place to come and try to vlog, but I wanted to hop on really quick and just kind of talk about doing things alone. Especially as a woman, as an adult woman, I feel like it's important to make time for yourself and prioritize your self-care. But as I get older, I also understand the importance of community and it's a, like a really delicate balance. But for those of you who spend a lot of time alone, especially if you live alone, I think I'm going to start living alone diaries because as someone who's never lived alone and just started living alone by themselves last year or this year actually this is my first year um, it has been a drastic adjustment and even as someone who can be quite introverted at times or just need to regain energy by being alone I realized that like I have to create a routine for myself where I get out and not even meet people but just get around people to get more comfortable because social anxiety gets so real y'all anyway I'm just rambling at this point but I just want to remind people that they're not alone and as I inch closer and closer to you know like an older age I just never want to feel like I'm isolated or that I don't have anyone but I also want to remain comfortable in this space because maybe it feels safe, you know? Maybe I feel safe being alone because I don't have to worry about anybody triggering me. <laughs> this is the chapter I When we think of anger as a vital breath, we must think about the source of its power and what we express in each sacred exit. Not the ending up at Sephora, honey, for this VIB sale. Y'all, I'm doing a little bit of damage, but I got some of my favorite products in here. I'll probably do a little haul when I get home, but I want to try this Dr. Dennis Gross because your girl has a lot of texture and hyperpigmentation. I've heard amazing things about this, but they have like this little combo going on right now. So I think I'm gonna try it. This Arizona sun is so brutal on my skin though. I'm, I probably just can only use it at night. Anyway, I wanted to check in, let y'all know. We're spending money. What's new? What's new? What's new? And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I tried this little, I don't know if y'all could see it. It's called Moon Dust. And it's stunning. It's gonna be so pretty for like New Year's Eve. And New Year's festivities, if I end up having festivities to partake in. But, so. <laughs> the amount of money I just spent in Sephora. Somebody come and get me. Come get my wallet. What are we doing? But I'm going to go probably to Saks and then grab some food. I love this area. This is the Biltmore in Phoenix. So if you've never been, come take a little stroll. But it's so funny because... You never know there's so much over here because it looks so incognito. But we're gonna go, so let's go.
The thing that gets me excited these days is food. I got this vegetarian burrito from Blanco's. I am not being dramatic. It's that good. Hello, beautiful people. Happy Saturday. As you can see, we got our big old Sephora bag. I meant to do a what I got with y'all yesterday, but here we are today, okay? I got a couple new products. By the way, I think we're getting our hair done today. By we, I mean me. Fingers crossed. I text Mama Wildly and she, or called her. She says she could do it, but child, she's got a lot going on. But if she calls me within the next hour, then I think it's a go. Anyway, Sephora haul. I'm gonna try out this new face wash. I see a lot of people talk about this new brand, the Inky List. As far as I know, it's new to me, but I know when the winter comes, my skin gets so dry, so I wanted to try a more creamy cleanser. And so this has an old clen cleansing balm, and so I'm excited about that. I think I talked briefly about these yesterday, but I got the Dr. Dennis Gross um, peels and what is it yeah extra strength daily pills so i'm gonna try to work on my texture a bit honestly y'all have seen me at my worst when it comes to my skin y'all know that i'm acne prone honey so i'm just hoping that this will help with texture and um hyperpigmentation it comes with 35 pills so i'm gonna use it every other day or every like two to three days so it should last me a little over a couple months maybe two months so we will track the progress if i continue with it next up i just got this little sephora uh, i don't know what it's called child beauty blender kind of vibe um this is something that i'm actually excited about i don't know anyone who uses this brand but it's called cora and this was kind of pricey but it's called the noni glow facial oil and when I tell y'all it smells divine, like it just smells very, very pretty and clean to me. Next up, I got the Fenty Skin Melt Off. Y'all know I wear makeup from time to time. And so honestly, I'm sold by the packaging. Let's just keep it a buck. It's so cute. Like you literally open it and then you push this and then it comes out. And I was just, I don't know, it's unique. It's fun. Next up, I've been wanting this fragrance for a very long time since I was living in LA. This is the Glossier perfume and I got the little set because this costs just as much as just getting the full size. So it comes with the full and a travel. And the packaging is just so cute. Like why is it so unique and so fun? This is how they get you. This is capitalism. Next up, I got one of my favorites of all time, moisturizers. This is the Honey Halo by Pharmacy if you know you know the other week i tried to get like these little dupes that i saw at trader joe's they don't hit like this the ones from trader joe's smell like honey honey and this just has the perfect balance it doesn't have too much fragrance to where it like irritates me so super duper moisturizing it helps with my skin barrier if my skin gets too dry it honestly gets dark and it's already starting to do that and the summer it also gets dark because this sun in AZ, like, it's a different type of sun. Like, I know it's the same sun where y'all be, but it's like, it's so different. And so I just, I want to combat hyperpigmentation. And a part of that requires me to keep my skin moisturized. The very last thing that I got is this little moon, I think it's called moon dust. Yes, moon dust uh, shadow pan. I was a thousand percent influenced by this, um, influenced to buy this. But when I put it on, when I put it on in store, it melted me. It was so freaking pretty, and I just could not leave it there on the. Sh I couldn't leave it on the shelf. I had to get it, and so I plan on wearing this probably just all the time. It's just like the perfect amount of shimmer. I also feel like you could use this on your body, like on your neck bone, and you know, just like your little. Is it called clavicles? <laughs> you can just use it to like you know highlight your little neckline or whatever but that is all that i got from sephora y'all i am not influencing you to go buy anything during this time however 
I just I honestly wanted to focus on skincare and then the Glossier was something that I 100% wanted I've been wanting it for a long time I'm starting to collect perfumes at this time and my logic is if I get all the ones I like then I won't use them as fast because I keep switching it up you know I got my signatures don't worry that Libre honey that 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 YSL Libre is my signature so that will probably always go that and Chanel Chance but if I have variety then I'll just continue to like um, be able to not just dress to my mood but smell to my mood you know if that's a thing anyway y'all I've not ate today um, but I did take some vitamins and I'm getting ready to prep to go to my mom's house I cannot wait to get my hair done so let's hope that she texts me because I just got a text message a little while ago it's not her <laughs> y'all pray my mom calls so I can get my hair done I'll see y'all later mom just texted me she's on the way now i feel like i'm rushing come on now glossier ah this is why they be getting you oh it smells so good if you have to smell this please go to Sephora just to smell it you don't gotta buy it i'm just saying it's very very pretty anyway i ain't getting my hair done Let's go. We went to the uh, Wildly Written, I mean not Wildly Written, <laughs> Wildly Written Headquarters, aka my mama's house. Let's go. Hello party people. We made it to the salon where I just got my hair washed. My mom's so great. I'm so grateful. Oh my god. It's such a blessing to have a mom who can do hair. So she is making me blow dry myself, which I gladly oblige because I'm tender headed. <laughs> So I'm already scared for the braid down but honey I'm gonna blow dry this hair and then I'm going to show you guys the results because I know it's gonna be fine just wait just wait for it, honey just wait for it I see y'all in like two seconds okay this I'm just so proud of you you don't understand sister you don't I love you to me, this is so cool. come here it's so cool come over here y'all okay I'm here to show y'all the hair <laughs> hey guys I'm back it's my sister Fanny. So proud of this girl, guys. I just love her so much. She's an amazing human. <laughs> little do I, little does she know I'm so proud of her. Okay? No, don't do this on YouTube. Girl, we're not about to cry. <laughs> y'all, I came here to show y'all the hair. Fanny's getting sentimental, but I just want to let y'all know. I love my baby sister. It's my baby. I love you too, sister. For life. Y'all, hair, focus. I, this girl don't focus. Look at that. You look so cute. You do. Okay. You do. The hair's, the hair's here. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Y'all, I'm here. It's Sunday. I wanted to show you my hair. Mama wildly did that. Curls by me, honey. I get it from my mama. Anyway, today we're getting ready to have some sister time. And so I'm going to end the vlog here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being along for this week. I hope that the camera quality is back to chef's kiss because the last two vlogs have a blessed week. Girl, come over here. Girl, you can't just be talking I love you guys. I love my sister. You guys have a blessed week, YouTube. <laughs> Y'all, many <laughs> blessings to you, your family, your loved ones. Stay safe and make sure you're taking care of your mental health and staying grounded. I love you. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the Wally Gang. And I will catch you guys in next week's video. Bye. Bye.